Good morning, or perhaps good evening. Not sure yet. Everybody, I'm Amalgam Ash. Welcome back to the channel. I have a 3D printer in the background causing me some noise, but let's not worry about that. I wanted to share the announcement that Smile Game Builder is on sale. Smile Boom is having a huge sale on Steam right now. All of their stuff is 80, 81% off, making it a great, great time to grab anything you're missing for your DLC collection, or it's a, just a great time to try out Smile Game Builder right now if you haven't yet. The base engine is normally $69.99, but it is right now until November 1st, $13.99. So this is something that happens probably three or four times a year. I would say that it goes on sale at this price. There are other times during the year when it has not as deep of a sale. So this is, this is a great, great time to pick it up. As for the DLC, you can look at the deluxe pack here that has absolutely everything and it costs $61.63. So there is that. You can also get just the bundle of the engine, the 3D character editor, and the exporter for Unity. They're all bundled together in the same program. If you do decide to go that route, out. Uh, but if you just want to try out the engine now and buy the individual components later or wait for another sale, you are totally able to do that. Now, this comes with the 8-bit sound pack, which is a collection of chip tunes, the Japanese horror complete bundle, music box, soundtrack DLC, the Dignified Fantasy Music Volume 1 and 2, Jacob's Monster Pack Volume 1, that is Drass Ray. Drass Ray being one of the creators working on Alterium Shift right now. Yeah, and he actually designed several monsters for use with Smile Game Builder. They, have, they are available in this pack. The A Healer Only Lives Twice Character Resource Pack. The Tenjin Primary School Pack. The Modern City Resource Pack Volume 1. There's only one volume, but it does contain all of the G-Style sprites. The 3D Character Editor, the Exporter for Unity, which allows you to take your Smile Game Builder game and export it to any platform that Unity supports, period, including Android. The Type B Friends with Symbols, which is actually free already, so if you own the engine, you can pick this up now. The Spice Plus Japanese Style Model Pack, this is a very extensive DLC pack. If you want more information about this, I have a video about this that looks at all of the components on my channel, so you can search for that and check that out. And the Wonder World Model Pack, which came out most recently. It retails for $19.99. It's 80% off, so it's $3.99. That's the only thing that I'm missing from my collection. Oh, it looks like I'm missing uh, Dignified Fantasy Music Volume 2 and the Japanese Horror Complete Bundle, so I need to pick those up as well. Looks like the Japanese Horror Complete Bundle it has more in it than I thought it did. 20 background tracks, 10 background sounds, so probably like ambiance, and then 72 sound effect files. <laughs> Neat. All right, it would be horribly remiss of me not to mention that Pixel Game Maker MV is also on sale. It is a huge, huge cut. It's 67% off. It's normally $84.99. We'll discuss whether it's worth that another time, uh, but you can get it for $28.04 USD right now, and all of their DLC as well as games that have been made with the engine and published on Steam are on sale. So this is a great time to see what this engine can do. If you're not convinced yet to buy the engine, and you'd like to see some stuff made with the engine, check out these games that were made with the engine. Look for YouTube videos. This is not helping me out at all because I don't have any of these games yet, so I don't have any gameplay videos of these games to talk about them or show you what the engine can do, uh, but these are definitely all worth checking out to see what exactly Pixel Game Maker is geared towards. Now I've called this the Metroidvania Maker in the past and I stick to that, although it can make many other types of games. It can make R-types, it can make shmups, it can make fighting games if you're so inclined it can make top-down RPG Maker looking games as well. So 11 pieces of DLC here, the Retro Game Console Sound BGM set, the Weapon Assets 100 Varieties and Dot Robot set. It looks like the Go and Gone Square Music Pack is already free, the Low Bit Music Pack is free, the RTB Material set is free, and the Universe 2020 Sample Project for a Sci-Fi Side View Action Game is free as well. You can also get right now the 2D side scroller shooting game sample project, the low res sci fi starter pack, the star captor isometric shooter sample project, the falling blocks puzzle sample, and the chiptune style battle music pack. All for $35.93, or you can just go in and pick them up individually. They're all 20% off. 
except for the stuff that's free. All right, back to Smile Game Builder. We have an important announcement to make. We, not that the royal we, like I'm not affiliated, but this, you know, I'm, I'm going to share the announcement. The Humans and Zombies pack is available for free. If you have Smile Game Builder now, you can pick up the Human and Zombies pack. This got me very, very hyped and very excited as of Friday, October 29th. This has 3D models and I'm like, I'm so excited to use the 3D models in games and to see these 3D models in games. This is making me want to make a game jam just for these models. So to use them, we'll just we'll just boot it up right now and we'll take a look and see what they're like. If you have Smile Game Builder, you already have these right now. So here's what you can do with them. We're gonna go into Add Assets off to the left after we get into our new or existing project. Then we're going to go to the DLC tab. Then we're going to scroll down until we find the Human Zombies Pack developed by Smile Boom, and we're just going to hit the checkbox and then click Add All Assets of this DLC. We'll hit OK, then OK after getting the confirmation. We're going to go to Edit Game Data, and now we're going to go to the starting party and we're going to change Scion. Here they are. Let's let's stretch that out nice and big. Check us out. There we go. That's a little more friendly. All right, and we're starting. They don't have uh, names necessarily. This is Female 01. I don't know how you might refer to these uh, because they don't have an, a, a letter designation like the other model styles do. So they're not type A, they're not type B, and they're not type G. So these are just brand new models that Smileboom has made. Now just, just for comparison's sake, this is a type A model. This is what you'd be able to edit. <laughs> I don't know how good these examples are going to be. This is what you'd be able to edit textures of and piece together different heads with bodies and stuff if you had the character maker DLC. There are some in here that are really cute. The overall nature of it is, is pretty silly, but there are some that are workable. We do have the type B character models, which while they are still simple, they are definitely more mature. They have a lot more charm. They're very, very editable. You're able to make these into many different things if you've got access to the texture files and if you have the, the capability of editing the textures. So this is the Smile Boom mascot for Smile Game Builder as far as, you know, I'm concerned because she's just the best. This is Marie in, in the A style. And then this is Marie in the B style. So this is what she looks like in that other style. There There is one C style model and it's just Marie. And it, that I mean, that's all that really matters in, in your game, in my opinion. But uh, there are no other C style models, so that's interesting. Back to the DLC. That's what the other ones look like for scale. This is the same size almost, but it's very proportional. It's a lot more realistic, very anime inspired. They've named Named this one the female three she has a really sharp haircut overall the same model slightly different face different model for the hair here's one of our male characters he's very straightforward very casual he might be a professor male o2 this is a, a younger guy with different modeled hair a slightly different face no glasses a sweater he's got a beauty mark on his cheek the male three this guy has an even different uh, hair even more different and has on a a tracksuit so he's very he's very slav male four this is a jacketed model male with yet another hairstyle so this is really good if you have the capability of swapping out the hairstyles or any other components in a 3d modeling program you have access to a lot of combinations of characters here's yet another one of our female models although she doesn't have the same naming convention she's s underscore zero zero one not sure why that is if you are sharp-eyed, you will notice that she has physics in certain places, which is a first. We have the same model, but without the glasses. Yeah, same model. And we have a special trap. <coughs> we have a special uh, Lolita type model that is available as well. Finally, we have we have a very classy looking mom type character. I'm not sure how to describe her. It's very traditional looking. Uh, but this is the humans and zombies pack, right? This isn't where things end. In fact, it's about to get kind of gruesome. Oh, oh my God. She's actually a zombie. Now, this is where things get interesting because where these models all have their own animations, which I'll go through some of them right now. Some of these are very interesting. Float, for example, Float 2. That implies that Smile Boom wants you to be able to use these in like water and underwater, right? <coughs> open door, open box door open 
But then I see that we have climb up and climb down. So this is this is pretty interesting as well. We we know that we don't really have control over Z axis unless the character is falling. How do we implement these? I wonder how Smile Boom expects us to use these animations unless unless they pretty much count on us to be crafty enough to have workarounds in which these animations will make sense in Smile Game Builder. There's a swim and I know that whoops, some of us have developed systems in which your character can step into water and then start swimming. And then we have the KO. <laughs> but what I also find interesting is the zombies have animations as well. That's the idol for the zombie, which that's terrifying. You already know that it's looking around and it, if it's if you're in its line of sight, you're 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 going to be hunted. There's the shamble, the walk, the KO. Whoopsie. There we go. And then KO, well, that last one was called KO blood. This one's just KO, but there's there's no there's no blood animation, so I'm not sure how to get that to work just yet, or if there is a real difference. Taking a look, whoops, kit back up, lady. Uh, we didn't look at her yet, I forgot about her. She, <laughs> she is, she's in, she's in the, uh, she's in the, 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 the banner image. Wonder why. Oh, but don't worry, she's also a zombie. Actually, she's, she looks a little bit better as a zombie gotta say the males also they're they're not safe from zombiosis they also become zombies the editor zooms way in when you click on one of the guys i don't know why that is yet and then the poor trap i, I mean i mean lolita she also has a zombie form so everybody everybody gets infected except for except for two of the guy models no i'm sorry two of the female models and two of the guy model oops <laughs> two of the guy models do not get infected with this pack. But you know who does get infected? Bucci. Bucci gets infected. Bucci becomes a zombie. Bucci has wait, walk, run, which I'm already wanting a game about this. Agonizing. Oh no, oh my god. Scream. Scream. Jeez. Biting. Oh my god. Oh god. That is horrifying man if you put down an npc that's just dead on the ground and then you put that over it that's cool attack look at that look at that detailed attack animation let's do it again from this angle play oh okay he's he's there we go Meow. very good and ko oh oh what a world beautiful kudo they they gave us multiple cat zombies. Why? Nike, Shiro, and Tora. All of them. All of them are, are zombies. Is that the premise of this? We're supposed to make a game where the cats become zombies and then attack the humans? I don't know. Anyway, there's your look at the zombie humans DLC as well as the info on the sales. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye for now.